Alright, so <laughs> this is uh, I made this posting on a uh, Craigslist and um, it's actually not this one, but this one right here, this uh, 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 Jillian clearly 1974, like uh, the uh, what do you call it? Um, the, the, the Nike men's uh, dunks, which I am obsessing about these shoes right now. Uh, these are similar to what, what I saw, the, the black, the black, white, and red ones. But these are the uh, men's Nike dunk low, size 13 and 14, 3180, 19, sport, red and white, black. So, uh, and I'm seeing 36, 36 people watching it. So. I'm, you know, to have an eBay business, shipping is $10, to have an eBay business, you know, pretty much it. You have to be, you know, um, the, the $12,856 seller. So how this person did that is they have a warehouse of shoes and they basically, you know, the person sells these shoes um, or they get it from a discount price, whatever. Uh, you know, you can get bulk, probably shoes, whatever, whatever this person does. You know, like check this out. Awesome, thanks for uh, uh, awesome. Thank you, very fast delivery. Nike Men's Air uh, Rival Plus 2.5 golf shoes, black white. Uh, great item, uh, great seller. Fast shipping. Men's Nike Free Trainer 5.0 black gamma blue white style 51 10 18 044. Excellent seller. Fast shipping. Nike Women's Free 5.0 uh, TR Fit PR Print Running Shoes style. Okay, um, Nike Men's Hyperfield TR Trail Running Shoes Style. So, you know, and these are all, all good uh, feedbacks. These are all awesome feedbacks for basically the Nike Dunk. Um, so in one month, 286 positive, six months, 1159 positive, 12 months, 2393 positives. Now, the amount of money that they make, I don't know how much money, um, but... You know, and they have in six months, they have two of that negative, you know, one of that 12 months, uh, uh, you know, positive, neutral, and then negative. So, and then they have the five stars for number rating 2015, uh, 2091 for communication, shipping time 2161, shipping and handling charges 1974. Um, so, yeah, and feedback as buyer, I don't know what this is. Feedback as buyer. Oh, great buyer. Okay, so this is what they basically buy, and then, you know, and they sell a shoe. But it's a quality shoe. They're saying what they have, and that's what they're that's what they're basically, you know, uh, showing. So when you look at, you know, when you look at, they don't even have a picture there, okay? When you look at uh, Jillian, uh, clear, uh, clearly uh, 1974, for 12,000 items, 12,000 856 items, uh, positive feedback, less than once, 99.8%, has a percentage calculated, you know, so basically this is like, you know, your GPA at uh, college or university or high school, you know, if you're part of the National Honor Society, which I I was in high school, I was part of the National Honor Society, and, um, and, um, hello. Yeah, uh, let me get her. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah.
Yeah, I think she's somewhere uh, in the garden, and she became a flower or something, and she is not found, so I don't know. I looked everywhere. <laughs> she's somewhere. She maybe is a cactus, became a cactus. I don't know. Uh, I literally cannot find her anywhere. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Uh -huh. Thanks, bye. Okay, so... Um, Let's see here. So yeah, uh, all great reviews, all five stars, and, and yeah, I'm uh, I'm really really uh, proud of this seller, uh, Jillian. Clearly, 1974 with 12,856 uh, sales and great sales, and um, so yeah, very very uh, proud of this seller. They're doing what they need to be doing. Um, and, and yeah, that's kind of like where, uh, where I'm coming from. Uh, if you have a very good product like this, you know, Nike, Nike Dunk Low, which I'm looking at and, you know, uh, specializing in pretty much. Um, uh, if you, well, I mean, it, it also depends on the seller also because the seller's got, um, they're a top rated plus seller with 12,856. Um, so, so yeah, uh, you know, that also plays into account how many items you've sold and, you know, if your items are great, if your items are awesome. Um, you know, this actually makes me think of, uh, of a nice little company here in Tucson called Laughs, Laughs Comedy Club, and I've been there, and I mean, it's just, uh, a very interesting place. Um, I mean, the, the, the branding that it has is just amazing. I, I know that, uh, I know that IBT's, uh, the, the gay bar, which I uh, frequently visit downtown, I know that that's, um, that that's very, you know, they, they change their branding, they have TVs everywhere in there, they have air conditioning, and it's just the best place. I mean, it's just the best place I've ever, I've ever been, and, uh, being a gay man as myself, and, uh, it literally is the best place. I mean, if 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 any of uh, if any of the gay celebrities come to, to Tucson here, I mean, if you go to IBTs, I mean, there's there's other places like this Brody uh, Brody's place or something. Go to IBTs, and uh, um, uh, it pretty much is uh, one of the best places uh, you can go to. Um, so. I mean, he's got everything. Uh, the, the guys are hot, the bartenders are hot, and, um, okay, but anyway, uh, going back to this Nike Dunk, uh, men's Nike Dunk shoe, um, let's see, uh, uh, it is a very nice place. I mean, Life's Comedy and IBTs, they have the best branding, they have the best air conditioning, they have the best bar, they have the best bartenders. They have the best uh, clientele. They have, uh, you know, uh, they have great. Uh, IBTs has great drag queen shows. Laughs Comedy has a great open mic night and a great comedian night. And uh, it's just, you know, these two places, Laughs Comedy Club and IBTs. Uh, if I could compare them, I mean, they're they're very close together, very closely. Uh, they're they're very they're they're similar in the sense that they have the great branding and and the inside. Um, you know the, the the actual air conditioning place with with the TVs and the um, the uh, the clientele there is very very nice. Um, I mean I couldn't ask for anything better when I go there when I go to both of these places. So, but yeah, going back to this, um, you know I can actually add to watch list for forty four dollars. I think that's a pretty good price right there for these uh, dunks, even though they're thirteen. And you got guys, you know, who are, who are size 13 play, like, usually in the NBA, the sizes go to, like, 18 or 20, because they're pretty big guys. <laughs> and, um, you know, everything is big on them, basically. You know, big shoes, big everything, and, uh, so yeah, you would need a 13 size shoe. <laughs> you would need a 13 size shoe, uh, you know. Um, and that's why it's popular also, you know, the 10 and a half, not a lot of guys play that, I mean, in those, uh, so yeah, so when you're looking at shoe, you know, the, the bigger the size, the better, pretty much, it'll sell better, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, because you have the, the African-American males, um, 
uh, playing basketball and, um, you know, uh, that's pretty much how, <laughs> that's pretty much how the NBA is. Uh, and, and, you know, on, on the court, playing on the court, that's just how it is. Um, so, so yeah, I guess 13, the 13 size shoe, um, is, you know, it's, it's pretty much sold faster. Um, and plus, you know, the, the person selling it, the, uh, Jillian clearly 1974 was 12,000, you know, uh, uh, sales top rated plus. Um, high soldiers with the highs of higher ratings, returns, money back, ships in a business day uh, with tracking. So, actually, looking at this, items you expect service beyond your expected expectations. Look for top rated plus items. Uh, okay, so this is how you become, you know, uh, a great, great seller. Uh, you basically have a warehouse and uh, of a, of. Probably, you know, one kind of shoe. I mean, there's dunks. There's also, like, other kinds of shoes. Um, yeah, you got, you know, you got the plaid right there. It's pretty cool. You got the necklace. You got the guy uh, looking. Shop with kind of, uh, we've covered you. Here's what you get with top-rated plus items. Oh, so it's, you know, it's something that you buy. All items offer a minimum 24-day money-back guarantee policy. Sellers commit to shipping the item in one day. With tracking price, all items are from experienced sellers with highest buy rate. So basically, this is like that um, Jimmy John's uh, company where they make, um, uh, I think there's actually one in Tank Verde, Jimmy John's, where they make the sandwich very fast. I mean, you literally. You literally tell them the what what you need uh, on your on your sandwich, and they do it. They don't. Um, it's literally done as you're saying it. It's literally done, and it's literally given to you. You give the credit card or cash, and then you take the sandwich. You open it. That's how fast. Like you're literally speaking, and they do it. And when when you're done speaking, they give you the freaking sandwich. Okay, so let's see here. I don't know why that's skewed. Why the hell is that eBay skewed? What is going on? What? Okay, so I think it's uh, top rated. Okay, let's see what this is. Need to return my. So I don't even. I, I don't know if this is a service or what. Uh, So yeah, um, I'm not sure what this is. I have no idea what this is. Oh, look at that. Look at that lady. She's got the little stripes. See, this looks like a business owner. That's the face of a business owner right there. Joshua, a co-owner of Alt Wholesale. And they got a nice little video, which videos are everything now. In 2015, I make videos all the time of uh, Eddie Izzard-esque videos. And... Uh, Yes, and it's loading, loading. So yeah, and as far as you know, like case studies goes, like I just made a case study between IBTs and laughs, why they're number one for me. Um, they've got great everything. I mean, and and they obviously have to charge for money. You know, you can't just not charge. You know, your your you know to stay open. You have to do that. Um, that's you can't go without it. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, so yeah, this video is loading, you know, whatever, uh, let's get out of that. So I, I don't know if it's a service or what, but you, you pretty much have to have a warehouse and you have to sell items. Like if it's the dunk, then you sell the dunk. Um, so yeah, this, and this is, this looks like a nice shoe. It's 13. I mean, I would wear it, but, um, yeah. And I actually saw on the, uh, on the listing, uh, page of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, on the listing page of the Tucson listing, um, the Tucson, the Tucson faceless or something. I, I think I saw like Nike Jordan dunk something in red and those were pretty cool. I would probably buy those. I think they were like $20. Um, I think, or they, or they were 40. I don't remember, but you could probably sell those on here and you know, that would be, that 
that would probably be a great, you know, place to start selling dunks since, uh, I pretty much saw ones for 80 new, new dunks. I mean, these are, these are 44, so that's kind of, so yeah, I would be pretty much, you know, losing money on that, but, you know, I would give a quality product to a customer, you know, who really needs the product. So, um, so yeah, that's where I'm coming from. And, um, and I know I was talking about selling uh, my car, Volkswagen Jetta, before, but I kind of need to ride, you know, drive something, so I can't really sell that. And um, it is my uh, my dad's, pretty much. Uh, it is mine and my dad's. So, um, so yeah, when you're talking about Nike Dunks, you know, as far as a case study goes, uh, yeah, you, you know, this this person right here. I'm pretty sure they just sell shoes, and they specialize in Nike Dunks, so um, if you look at all of their products, let's see, and, I, and I'm <clears throat> pretty much you have to specialize in something, like if you're specializing on shoes, that's what customers want. Um, if you want to sell, you know, this and that, here and there, I don't know how you're going to sell that. Um, you could, but... And you pretty much, everyone has to make, like, these kind of live demonstrations where it's not just uh, uh, a video where you have, um, I don't know, just something and you're explaining stuff and it's just like, okay, what next? I mean, is it a scam? Is it, or is it you know, a legitimate something business, brick and mortar, which I'm talking about like a brick and mortar warehouse, you have shoes in the warehouse and they're in boxes or they're used and you basically sell them. And then do you make profit? Maybe you make profit, but are you doing what you love? Yeah, you're doing what you love and you have them in a warehouse and you basically, basically have the, the kind of thing where, um, um, or having, uh, there's, a, there's a pack rat place here, there's a place on Tank Verde where they give, you know, storage units where, you know, anyone, you know, basically they, they can't break in and steal a shoe because it's worth a lot of money, and so on and so forth, so, um, you know, that that's kind of, you know, another thing. Um, but yeah, uh, and these are actually skater shoes, I guess. I don't know if they're basketball sh I thought they were basketball shoes. I don't know why it says here skater. These are s casual skate. I would. I was under under the impression that these were basketball shoes. Yeah. Um, I was on, under the deep impression that these were basketball shoes. I don't know why they have skater shoes on them. But yeah, so, you know, if you're looking at basically, you know, having a legitimate, legitimate business where you're providing a product like the Nike Dunk, you know, um, you know, go for it, you know, put all the Nike Dunks in your uh, storage unit and basically, you know, just, you know, whenever there's a sale made, you know, you just go, you put it in the box and you ship it out and so on and so forth. So, you know, putting all that together in a spreadsheet, yeah, it takes time. Yeah, it's, you know, uh, something that, I guess something that, you know, it does take time, but, you know, the, the, the kind of product that, the kind of quality product that you're selling, that it's not a scam, that it's not, uh, base, you know, that it's not like, oh, I'm, I'm going to deliver an amazing product, and it's, you know, like you're saying, new with box, and in reality, you know, you get a product that's not new with box, then you have an issue. Like, this looks new. All this looks new, and, you know, you know, and this goes back to, um, actually the case study with the, uh, oh, sheesh, with the, um, bar three shirt, <clears throat> with the, um, checkered one. Uh, the checkered bar three shirt, which was an amazing shirt, um, for, you know, I saw that basically to make a sale to basically show, you know, what a good product is, um, you know, that was really, you know, that I, I actually had a Paisley shirt, which I'm all, I'm gonna, it's used and I'm gonna try to sell that, you know, probably to the same seller, 
because he wrote, you know, fast shipping, which it wasn't fast shipping, but who cares? Um, you know, but I mean, it, shipping does matter, and I should have shipped it out, but it was kind of like a, a first product demonstration, which someone actually wants. You know, it's a bar three shirt, it's in demand, you know, the collars, style like that, so on and so forth. It's still sold at Macy's, it's still in the market. Um, and it's something that people, you know, people want, people look at. So, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you want to have, you know, like a business, like a shoe business, then literally the brick and mortar, you have the inventory, um, you know, you make sure that there's buyers who want it, of course, but you have the inventory, you sell it. That's how products work. I mean, and if you, if you get sponsors to, to pay for, I don't know, the bulk of the bulk, you know, shoe buying that you do on eBay, um, then that is great. That's awesome. Um, you know, more power, you know, to you that, you know, I, I'm going to try to do that <laughs> um, and see if anyone buys, you know, uh, if anyone will sponsor me for that pretty much. Um, but, but yeah. So, so that, you know, it, it kind of goes to like, um, me being like a scientist artist saying, you know, Hey, this is, you know, this is what I really want to do. This is, you know, passion dream because shoes were kind of always my thing in high school, college, university, they were all, they were always my thing. So, uh, pretty much, yeah, you know, looking at the men's Nike dunk low size 13, this is like a really good case study of, um, you know, of what a buyer is doing successfully. There's other things like power selling. I mean, okay, I, I guess that's cool. You know, you can power sell. I'm just talking about something that is sold, and they probably have advertisements somewhere else. I mean, sure, yeah, great, you can have advertisements, but yeah, I'm talking about the actual, you know, the quality product, which these look like basketball shoes, as far as I know. Um, I don't know why they're saying skater shoes, but, but yeah, um, and you have the iconic Nike symbol, you know, right there, which, you know, Nike pretty much never goes out of style because it's just, it's a quality product. There's a lot of celebrities who wear it, a lot of, um, sponsors that they have. And yeah, so, so pretty much, yeah, going back to what I'm doing with, uh, BLDS, uh, as far as, you know, jobs go, as far as, as far as I, I, blogging jobs, search engine optimization jobs, which they have the, um, the tags, the, um, the, the, what do you call it? The meta tags. The meta tags was, was the most fun I've had. I mean, yeah, there's blogs, there's, um, talking to other companies who have blogs and you have a blog and you basically share blogs. So you know about each other, you know, big companies, companies that, that matter, companies that are big, um, and that is pretty much how, um, you know, how I see marketing, like the, the backend tags, that's legitimate. I mean, I see that. I'm not sure, you know, what, what else you can do as far as the website goes, you know, and there's actually a company telling me that like, Hey Edgar, um, you don't need to, you don't need to change the meta tags. You just do, you just get a Google site and that's it. And you don't need to change the meta tags. You just go with Google. You're totally wrong. You just go with Google because Google is the best. It's number one. It's better than anyone else. And Google will take care of you, uh, which is a bunch of shit. Um, if anyone believes that Google is, um, uh, I guess, you know, I mean, yeah, they will probably do whatever the hell you want to, but there would not be SEO companies. There would not be uh, marketing companies if Google did everything for companies as far as online goes. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of scams out there and there's a lot of, you know, legitimate business owners who, you know, are doing or are trying to get a, a, a business which... I mean, it, it, you know, uh, has a brick and mortar warehouse with Packrat or with another company, 
and where they store like shoes, for example, like Nike Dunks, it's a legitimate brick and mortar business. It's not just some guy telling you, um, telling you, what is it like? Oh man, this is, you know, this is amazing. This is, uh, you know, this is definitely going to work. And then he shows you basic, he shows you, I don't even know what, a back end, which helps you do something. I mean, if, if you get down to nitty gritty and if you're selling on, on eBay, yeah, having, um, having a warehouse with like, I think Packret has definitely where there's there's a company on on uh, Tank Furry which you guys should check out which is amazing they have great branding they have an amazing uh, business model they're on Tank Furry they have a red logo they are probably the most amazing uh, storage company I've seen um, I'm definitely following them I think I'm actually gonna stop by today on my bike just to see them what they're doing and, and get their business card again because you know. And maybe actually store with them these uh, Nike Dunk shoes that that I'll try to get. I'll try to get a budget. I'll try to get uh, uh, something together, sponsors, where yeah, where I can sell these Nike Dunks. And um, because, yeah, I was talking about this uh, this <coughs> tablet before the Android tablet and. I can sell it for ten dollars. I mean, the demand is probably there, but you know, just to get ratings, yeah, I'll sell it definitely. It's definitely <laughs> something I can sell. Um, there's other hundred thirty-nine dollars free shipping. I think this is a uh, their deal section. So I mean, definitely, yeah, definitely I could do that. But if if you're having a legitimate business where you know, there's case studies where I looked at where. There's companies selling on eBay and it's working and it's they have a brick and mortar place, okay? They have a brick and mortar place where they have the product and they once the product is ordered, they take the product, they put it in a box, they ship it out, the person gets it, you know, the person paid. Do they make a profit? You know, hope yeah, they do make a profit, you know, else they wouldn't be in business. Um, so yeah, you know, just focusing on one item, like the, I guess the Nike Dunk, I mean, that, that pretty much, that really, um, that shoe really is, um, it, it inspires me, you know, to, to look at shoes, um, the Nike Dunk, let's see here, these are a bunch of Nike Dunks, and we're looking at red and black. So, and these are the top, and this one's top, but it's not getting anything. So this one's 36 watching and three available, and it doesn't have a time of expiration. So yeah, 36 watching, you know, that's a big deal. Um, you know, they could be customers of, you know, the 12,000 customers. They could be that. They could be. No idea. Um, probably are. They're... They're probably returning customers because they sold some good stuff. It was, you know, it was explained correctly, and that's just how it is. Uh, so, yeah, so if you're looking at that, um, is it pretty cool right here? These Converse and two watching, two watching, and you got 1,210. Top rated seller reviews. And are they all good? Yeah, they're all good. Positive 6, 26, 74, and then we're going 60, 66, 65, 67. So, yeah, uh, so when you go here, um, and you have, like, I think, like, Mr. Allen's, which I went to before, which they had awesome shoes. I went back in Cleveland. I think there's a company like this, uh, where just, it's like Allen Shoes or something. Allen Shoes, I don't know if it's Mr. Allen Shoes. Well, they had some awesome, awesome shoes, and they had some great branding behind that. They had some great branding, they had great uh, commercials. And, uh, and yeah, so... Um, and, yeah, that's, that's basically my... The uh, six watching, 660 people bought, uh, six, 660 people bought, basically. So, 
So yeah, check these out. These are really interesting shoes. Um, these are very interesting. Jesus Christ. Wow. These are awesome, awesome. Um, and these are $179. These are like the money. They're like the money type of shoes. Wow. These are very nice. So... Um, So yeah, and then there's, you know, like celebrity recognition of, uh, of shoes, like, um, I think Andy Samberg, he went, um, on the Jimmy Fallon show with, like, the, the, these kind of Nike shoes, I, let's see, Nike, which are the top sellers, uh, today, top sellers today, uh, da, 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 da. Um, okay, so I don't see them, but they were literally, you know, that's brand recognition right there. If Andy Samberg goes to the to the Jimmy Fallon show in in these uh, Nike track shoes, I think they're Nike track shoes. Or, Retro, all right, let's see what happened. Uh, Nike retro shoes. Nike retro shoes. And Nike retro running shoes. I forget what they were called, but um, yeah, they're pretty much like this. Um, so yeah, these weren't exactly the, the same type, but I literally saw the... Um, uh, I think at Macy's or in one of the magazines or in one of the, uh, I'm pretty sure it was on one of the websites. Yeah, it was, it was like these, a Nike Air Max Lunar. Okay, five watching, they're $110, you know, really similar to this. And, you know, that's basically celebrity recognition. You know, if you want and some Andy Samberg, uh, Jimmy Fallon shoes, then you go and you, um, yeah, yeah. You get in these shoes, basically. If, if you want to be, you know, like Andy Samberg on the Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon show. So, these are pretty cool. Um, also, for $139 to watching. So, these are, you know, these are basically in, um, these are in demand. These are probably in, on the Nike website. These are in demand. They got a great background. Um, probably DSLR camera. Um, so, yeah. And they have some other different styles here. Uh, but yeah, these are definitely, definitely in demand right now. Um, for $110, 73 watching, you save $20, 15% off. So yeah, definitely in demand. And, and this person's got, you know, their recognition is 5000 5000 54,391, okay, and uh, top rated plus, the follow up seller. So yeah, um, Baller Bandit. So yeah, they've got some recognition, basically. Um, buy it now, $99. I don't know how many people are watching this, though. Oh, I think I actually saw this shoe before. Oh, yeah. Hun um, no, it's, it's a different. 109 watching. 109 watching. Five, uh, five viewed per hour. So, um, yeah. So, this has got some recognition. This is the uh, men's, not, men's Nike Jordan Flight Runner 2 shoes new. Um. And yeah, uh, so that that's that's the idea with that. Uh, okay, so so yeah, when you're looking at yeah, and Jordan pretty much has so many amazing shoes, it's like unbelievable. Actually, yeah, these these I saw in um, in low the lows. 
yeah, 351 watching, ton of you per hour. And these are the, um, and this guy's got 4801, 4801 uh, sellers. Um, for $105, 351 watching, 41 sold. So, um, and they're out of the, um, you know, they're out of the other basically sizes. So, so yeah. These are really, really cool. And I believe Retro High, Griffin, Jim, Red, Black, White. So they, they do have the Red, Black, White. Um, men, Air Jordan 1. There's the Air Jordan with Nike. Um, so yeah. Yeah, these are very cool shoes right here. And they sell because they're awesome. Um, they're very awesome. And yeah, so this is what I'm looking at as far as, you know, selling like Nike Dunks, specializing in those because they look cool. Um, so 1,553 1, people looked at them. So yeah. Um, yeah, and I pretty much like the... Uh, I like the, the more quality shoe. I don't like the like these right here. I think these are sh like not. These are crap. I think I don't like these. These look, look like they're gonna fall apart. Um, maybe they won't. Actually, maybe they won't. But um, yeah, these are cool. I guess. Well, I don't know. I don't really like these. I like more of the um, the dunks um, or the um, let's see here. shoes like this. Let's check this out. Let's see if this is getting thirty seven watching. Like these look like more solid shoes, I guess. Um, these actually look awesome. Some guy did this, which looks really awesome. Um, wow. This looks really awesome right here. I think it's the same shoe I looked at before. And six watching, $110. So select size, 10.5 out of stock. So, yeah. And I have a bunch of these here. Uh, 30 viewed per hour, 3 watching. So this is a Nike Air Jordan Mellow M11. Uh, 11 game, Royal Black, Fireberry, Silver, Carmelo, New York Knicks, Camaro, and the So he, uh, Carmelo Anthony, actually made shoes with Nike Air Jordan, which is cool. And uh, because he's, you know, he's a basketball player, celebrity basketball player. Kicks on the bay. Kicks on the bay. Uh, this looks really awesome right here. The setup that they have. The setup is very, very good. Um, yeah, I should like these. Yeah, these crazy things. Whoa. These are insane. 25 viewed per hour, 12 watching. These are freaking insane shoes right here. Whoa. Yeah, these are really, really interesting shoes. So yeah, um, so as far as, you know, this idea, this dream with like selling Nike Dunks and putting them in a, in a storage unit here on Tank Verde, I think that's a pretty good idea. I think that uh, Nike, Air, as far as like a, a eBay business goes, um, you know, that's, that'd be a pretty interesting idea, putting that in a spreadsheet, doing that. So yeah, this has been a, a Blurky Design Studio LLC BLDS um, uh, video, and I hope you guys liked it.